Now, our violinist David Garrett has been described as the David Beckham of classical music, but his rising career took a bit of a tumble, literally, when he fell on top of his own instrument. It was not just any old violin, but a priceless 290-year-old Stradivarius, which is now undergoing repair. In the meantime, David's been left fiddling with what he hopes will be a temporary replacement. We'll talk to him in just a moment, and he's going to do some requests for you. First, though, here's a glimpse of him in action. Fantastic. <laughs> David's here with us this morning. Morning to you. Thanks, thanks very much for joining us. Um, you've got a violin here. We'll talk about that violin in a right. moment. But what happened to your most precious belonging? Uh, well, my most precious belonging, um, basically what happened is I was playing at the Barbican, mm -hmm. as I did yesterday night. But it wasn't yesterday, mm -hmm. like a few weeks ago. Um, I kind of stumbled down the stairs, which wasn't entirely my fault because they were very slippery. I was pretty much leaving uh, in the intermission. and mm -hmm. I had it in my violin case over my shoulder, I fell backwards on it and pretty much damaged the instrument pretty badly. Was there a kind of a sickening crunch? Could you hear the damage? The crunch, I, I, it was quite loud anyway because my whole body fell on the stairs and people who saw it were first of all um, quite uh, scared that I actually yeah. injured myself but uh, kind of the violin saved my life so to speak. <laughs> So, so what, what happened? You, uh, did you real, when did you realize it well, was damaged? Well, the first thing I did, of course, was open the violin case. I didn't even get up yet. I was sitting on the floor. Yeah. I asked somebody to pass me the violin case. With your, and I opened it up. You must have been worried. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was really, really scared and, mm -hmm. and rightfully scared because there were uh, two major cracks on the sound post uh, from the top to the bottom and one whole crack on the uh, bass bar side and a couple of ones on the side. And but this is, we're talking about a million pound Million, million, uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty intense, actually. <laughs> and you owned. I mean, it sounds obvious that this was I've yours. Been, you? I've been paying it off the last uh, five to six years. Yeah, with playing lots of concerts. Is it insured? It is insured. But yes. I mean, but is it mendable? Kind of more importantly, actually. Well, that is debatable right now. Of course, you you have to wait until the job is done mm -hmm. to see if the sound is still uh, the same and as good as it was before. Um, but we'll see in eight to nine months from now on. Gosh. But you are able to play because you have another instrument. You well, found and this one is quite some, in, yeah. yeah, it's quite <laughs> some replacement, this one, isn't it? This is actually a, a wonderful replacement. It's a Stradivari from the Golden Period, 1718. And I was, uh, it was flown in yesterday from uh, Milan, so I could play at the Barbican uh, Center last night, the Bruch mm -hmm. Concerto. Uh, which was a big success, of course. I don't know if they were clapping because of the volume. <laughs> <laughs> and how much but is this worth? No pressure. How much? This is, it is, this is about, I think, in truth, for five million. So it's God. even. Please life. be very careful when you walk out of the studio. Um, we've had masses and masses of requests um, from right. our viewers this morning. And I they promised to do some you of them. You did, didn't you? And I'm just, you're going to tell what is it? What is it you're playing for? Well, you the tell first me. one, of course, since we're here in England, yes. I thought we'll do uh, British composer Edward Elgar, and the request was for Salut d'Amour. And it's from Anne. Exactly. As a final gesture, she says, for Valentine's Day. All right, oh, so happy nice. Valentine's Day, Anna. <laughs> Piece. That's very yes. beautiful. Well, so we have a little bit of the Mendelssohn violin concerto, Go and I think, just to do a little bit of a this contrast. This is from Val, so they know, this is from Val in <laughs> Cheshire. <laughs> Uh, 
interesting. Do you have, your, do you have an all-time favorite? Um, well, you... actually, I did prepare something for you. Oh no! Since <laughs> it was Valentine's Day. Shall I, shall uh, I just Louise? move to the other end of the sofa for and a moment? <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's a little personal moment. So um, I I'm thought, very flattered. Um, one of my all-time favorites actually is a tune from the West Side Story from Leonard Bernstein. It's called Somewhere. So I'll just pitch you a few notes from that one. I'm speechless. Yeah, look at that. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's not so a bad much. job you have, is it? Being serenaded by one of the world's <laughs> best violinists of a morning. Oh, it's been a real pleasure. And just quickly, because right. people are asking also when you got an album out as well. Actually, in March it will come out. I'll be back here in the, I think, third or fourth week. And where are you March. playing? Um, I don't know, but there is a concert in the same week okay. of the album release, okay. which I think is 24th of March. Okay, well, your fans will be able to find you. Thank you so much, and please <laughs> Thank you very much for having walk me. very carefully. Yes, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Try not to trip anymore. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's been a real pleasure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh. Okay, are you recovered? Just give me a minute. <laughs>